Alright. During this situation, Kenny doesn't get the kill and gets killed. I thought I thought we lost. Because I'm watching Ken's screen. Once he spawns up right here. Or once he can't spawn up, sorry. Once he can't spawn up like right here, I see the lives are three. I'm like, oh, we fucking lost. And look at the situation, bro. First 18 seconds left. We have three lives. We have no one even close to the point. We still have to get two kills before we even get to the point, right? So, Linz, we know his position because he just killed Kenny. AJ can get this kill. Boom. Good trade. Brandon was a huge 1v1 on Wake. Because Wake's ticket, he wins a one-on-one -on -one Wake. Now we have some position. We're spawning coop. We have two people inside, like ticket and fire. We can now, we have to converge on the point. That's the only win condition. Since we have three lives, we need to converge to the point together, especially because there's 16 seconds left too. Like, obviously we're not going to win trade battles. It's three, it's three lives. It's literally, you can't spawn up. So we just need to all flood towards the point. That's what we do. I'm not sure why Vivid gets off point here. If I'm Vivid or if I'm looking back at this on Vivid, I'm thinking he stays alive on point, and Lamar's just going to come up and have his cross anyways. So, getting off on point, in my opinion, he, he's looking to try and trade out Brandon because he knows this guy's ticket. He just killed Wake. But in my opinion, I think you just stay on the point and just, you just hold it with Lamar because Lamar has your cross. But since he dies here, and Lamar can't get multiple kills on the cross or can't even get one kill because it, it is a hard like gunfight to kill people while crossing. At least you get the information on it. So if Vivi would still on the point here, he can get re he can react to the information that Lamar gives him. Like, oh, they're crossing now, and then chow out and make it a little bit mixy while they're like trying to blender them there. But he doesn't get these kills because obviously it's easy for us to slide from like the the bus to that bus stop. We do well, and AG holds this and backs him down so that these guys can maintain control over B. Then. They all get on point because that's our win condition. We need to cap the point. We can't just fight them straight up. We have three lives. They start calling the streak. AG calls. Everyone get in the room. So everyone gets in the small room. That means you can't die from this front, uh, front side, front windows. Because technically he could curve it in and kill you if you're in like one of these front windows trying to cap the point. Like where Ant was. Like Ant over here is towards the front. So he could technically curve that in, but if you get inside the room, he's going to see that and going to try and like curve it this way. That's why he tried to curve it that way. Like obviously if he saw someone here, he would have curved it and tried to kill them right here. But since they're all in the back, he sees them all in the back. So he, he's just trying to play for them to scam and run out early or something like that. He, he has no chance to kill them with the streak. That's why I don't personally like the streak here in this sense, because you know they have to cap the point. So you're taking yourself out of the play. This is Wake. Streaking, you know you're taking yourself out of the play and relying on the on the streak first to kill them while they're inside or kill at least one person while they're inside where they could back up to the back door. And you're realizing that the rest of your teammates have to get to the point to stop them and it's a 3v3 in that scenario. So technically, if anyone gets staggered, you're, you're kind of screwed. At least if you had all four people doing one thing, like even if you wanted to wrap this way, if you want to go long, whatever, just do it together and, and just you're going to bully it with four people and they only have three people. So technically you should at least get one or two or, you know, in a perfect scenario, all three, but by getting one or two, it stops the cap from having that, you know, gradual, um, that gradual increase in the cap speed because of the amount of people that are on the point. Like I talked about it in the control video, but because we have the pre three people on point, we're stacking pretty fast. If you go with your team here and you at least trade one or two, you, we still haven't even got one tick yet. You know what I'm saying? If you get some trades in, then you got two people on point and then you get one person on point. We win this because AG stays alive as the last person, but he only cast a cap just a small amount. So he streaks, misses. We get a stagger kill because we need uh, Lamar accuracy here back alley. Or sorry, I keep saying back alley, but I mean long. The other guys go for a route, but the thing is like, they're, they're trying to go for a route, which is like a good play because you're trying to take different angles and they, you need to make sure that like the other team, like our team is still watching those different angles, but because Ant pushes back out onto the point after the, the streak comes in and because we're having all these different angles watched, like because we have three people, it's already, we already have two ticks from, so from that point where the streak lands, because we have so many people on the point, it's going up so fast. 
and these trades come in Linz gets on the point so and wins a first a big 1v1 on vivid if he doesn't win this gunfight we lose the round Linz gets the trade on on ant and now we have a 2v1 on hill in a really awkward scenario because he's in the front door and they're like they have this counter so they have to technically jump over the counter or take a different angle right and we get the trade so oh it's actually brandon that gets the kill oh i thought it was only i thought it was only uh ag on point at the end my bad but regardless i thought he kills brandon over here but he he must he must wall bang him through the desk so he does we still have two people on point but look at like even if we had one person on point i still think we get the cap i'm not 100 percent sure but it, it does move faster because wake is trying to shoot them and even with one person i still think he gets it i'm not sure though that's that that would be really close but regardless because the stagger kill happens because they get the kill on point or the two kills on point and because wake wasn't with them in the streak he's he's late to the point so that's the only it was like that fucking doctor strange shit there's one scenario where we win this round and it's if we win those first two kills we we get the trade towards top fire we get the one-on-one -on -one kill uh what's it called towards ticket over here we converge on the point together kill vivid stack the point and because they use the streak and blow it uh we just win the round so that's literally probably the only way that we win a 3v14 that's the breakdown the passion after this was electric i agree the passion was 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 really good so i'm glad that they were resilient about it obviously we should have been 3-0'd no one's denying that like this is a round we should not have won but them being resilient and winning this and then winning the series afterwards uh was was really good for them vivid sold bad i mean yeah vivid vivid should probably stay on point here but also i, I don't like the street call either i think i think when you're in a 3v14 like that you just have to you you just try and win together especially if the point is like closed like that where you can go back door but yeah i mean it is a in the second moment decision use your numbers instead of street yeah that's that's kind of my idea as well Especially when you know they have to cap the point, and you'll you'll just always win the trade battles. They can't win off lives. There's I mean there's no way you're three v fourteen. You you cap the point before you even three v fourteen. There's like you need to you need to cap. So you know where all of them are going to be at. You might as well work with your team as an extra body. You know. <laughs> 